So in this video, I am gonna show you how wicked easy it is to camber a blade, a plain blade, with a Tomac T8 system. And it's built right into the SE77 blade holder. Okay, so first we have to understand what the heck is a camber of a plain blade? And it's pretty simple. Now, Chris, I wanna get in here because I pulled this. I'm gonna make my number five jack plane into a smoother, okay? That's your utility hand plane. But look at, this is such an old blade, but look how somebody was hand uh, sharpening this and look how they messed up the bevel. Okay, it's like, here's your primary bevel, but look at this secondary, man. They did it all kinds of awkward. So that's why using a power grinder or a power sharpener, we can actually grind that perfect. Now, this is this is flat ground. And when I say that, okay, if I make it uh, a smoothing blade and I use it in a smooth, I go back and forth. These corners have a tendency to dig in, okay? And you have these lines across your board that you're actually trying to smooth. Now, the majority of time, if you're jointing a board, you want it dead flat. But a camber, okay, and there's my center line, a camber gives you a very slight arc. I mean, extremely slight. You can barely see it. But what that does is that prevents you from grinding those corners into your board. Now, there's another way called a hybrid way where you just knock off the corners like this. I usually take this across a stone and go like this a few times. But I really prefer a camber. And I'm going to show you how to do that with the Tormac. So this is a 50 millimeter blade or two inch. And I am going to scribe a center line on here so I can line it up in my plain blade holding jig with the Tormac. So what is half of 50, Chris? 25. So I'm just going to take it and I'll make a quick center line just like this. So what you want to do is you want to line up that center line with the center line of the blade you've scribed. Okay, and it's a kind of a back and forth. You got to eyeball it first and then you take a square to it. Make sure you have a really good square. Okay, that's good. And the other thing to be really aware of is this is sitting flush here against there and this is as well. So you got to move this in a little to make sure there's no daylight in there as well. And now the only thing we have to do is set the projection of the blade on the stone. Okay, so I got my angle unit. I know my stone's diameter is 245 because we've been chopping in a lot. This plain blade, the projection or the bevel is 25. So I'm gonna take that in here. I'm gonna set this point here and here on the blade. And what I'm gonna do is I've loosened my knobs here. And Chris, can you get that daylight right in there? And I'm going to bring that right up. So it's gonna be a perfect grind at 25 millimeter. So I'm gonna take this down and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and remember the foundation, I always say this, you put your pressure here and you lock it in here and don't forget to lock it in here. Okay, so we got it set up on center line here with this Mac. Now, in a previous video, I showed you, see these two knobs? That line there should line up with that. But this is what these knobs are for. Okay, and you'll see how we work it on the stone after this. But what I want to do is I want to release these and I want to do them evenly. So I take my thumb and I go like that. That's a half turn and that's a half turn. And I want you to notice this. See the play in there? It's a back and forth. That'll give me, and that's why I did the exact same on either one. So now off of center line, I have the right amount of ack. Okay, so I also want to point out this. You have to be careful with this because that takes me off the stone. So you got to really pay attention. So this is how I have been doing cambers is when I put it down here, okay? I can leave it there, but you see this little arc right here? But I also want to use the whole stone. So I come up here and I have my stop here set. And then I come up and when I hit the center, I start to arc it the other way. And I'm always aware of where my camber is. There's my center. And now I'm going to come up and it's just a really consistent way of putting that slight arc on there. And this takes a little bit of time because remember the first shot of this blade, it was the bevel on it was so messed up over the years. 
Okay, so check this out. I already have that slight burr on there. I'm already grinding up, but you're gonna slowly see that act. And that's where I need to be a little more consistent in the way I swing the blade. But that burr is already there. This is such a nice system. So the other thing to remember, remember that's my center line. And as I bring it up here, I come back, I'm on center my pressure, and then I bring it up here. And don't forget, just every period, every so often, periodically, that's the right word, I actually regrade the stone to that 220. And this is not taking any time whatsoever. It's effortless and it's consistent. See, I'm up high now, then I come down center and I pull it back up. And those two knobs are how you get the consistency in that arc. Okay, so we got that consistent camber. You can see that perfect arc there. That transfers, you can see it where I painted it black it, uh, or marked it black. And now those outside corners won't touch, but the majority of that blade will smooth. But you see the scratches here? Yes, we have to do it. Let's just grade the stone to a thousand now. So what we're gonna do now is I've flipped the machine around and now I'm gonna recharge this. Remember, this honing compound, a little is a lot. It's a paste, so I'll turn it on and I'll just put a little on there, just like this, okay? Now what we're gonna do is remember to anchor yourself. I always usually grab the side of the blade. And this one's gonna be a little bit trickier as I come up. Okay, now I'm starting to surf, I call it. Okay, and I'm starting to see that little, and you'll see it, you can keep going back and forth and looking at it, but I'm just gonna start to, I just creep up to it like this, and you'll feel it as soon as it hits that right bevel, you can feel it. And I'm just gonna concentrate on this a little. I don't wanna round over what I've accomplished. And I'm just gonna take it like this, and I'm actually moving my body to make sure I'm doing that. And I'm starting to see that burr flick off a little. And you're gonna see that that's becoming razor. I'm just gonna take some of this now and make sure I get that outside edge. By the way, that probably will never cut when I set that plane blade properly. But I just wanna make sure I got an even consistent hone on there, and I do. Now I'm going to take that, boy, you can really see the reflectivity of that. And I'm gonna come back to it like this to get that remaining burr off. And there it is. You can, you just know it, you feel it. You can actually hear it on the back. And I'm gonna feel if that burr's gone, and it is, and it is. So let's uh, check to see how sharp it is. So let's really check to see how sharp this is. Come in here, Chris. I'm just gonna take that, oh my God, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So as we always say, be positive and stay sharp.